Hi friends, I carried out some experiment with my Pasco Ripple Tank and this is the images on the screen. Right now what we are seeing is um, a convex refractor. We can see how the wave is being refracted and this is as a result of difference in speed, in wave speed. Right now what we are seeing is the convex refractor. We can see the beautiful refractive pattern that is being um, produced. And what we are seeing directly on our screen right now is the tripozoidal refractor. Look at the edge of the tripozoidal refractor. We can see also the characteristics of reflection, refraction that is being carried out. The beauty of this thing is that as it changes, as the wave travels from one region to the other, there is a difference in speed. And this speed, this difference in speed is actually causes the refraction. This is the apex of the tripozoidal um, refractor. We could see, see a similar refractive tendency. Same too on this particular video. And what I did right here was to reduce the water in my Pasco Ripple tank for it to be at this level to get this pattern. And this is the, uh, the concave refractor. We could see it's exhibiting a reflective tendency. Also, I tried as much as possible to reduce the water in my Pasco reflector, Pasco tank, Ripple tank. And this is um, the convex refractor. You could see the refractive tendency and also as it passes from one region to the other. In carrying out this experiment, this is the aerial view of the uh, Pasco Ripple Tank system. I tried to place my uh, frequency at 20 hands and the amplitude at the middle of the amplitude dial. So um, I hope this video is able to help. Thanks for viewing and have a nice time.